Hello guys and welcome to this new video. So in this video, it's going to be very interesting. We're going to actually create LinkedIn carousels using Canva and ChatGPT and also I've automated or have automated, I'll say, this process for today because I'm doing a kind of MVP zero for now and then later on, I will try to automate it fully. So let me show you what I had in my Canva. So basically, I have actually my Canva, which is uh, my LinkedIn carousels, which are PDFs normally. So I've created my, my Canva and this is this kind of result where when I go with my automation, I get a content, for example, here, we're talking about the Comet, uh, which is the cognitive browser that we'll be also using today. So I'm going to show you a hack that you never seen before. So you can actually um, talk to ChatGPT uh, with ChatGPT, which is Comet. Okay, so great. So here, what we will do is, first of all, you will create actually a template that matches actually what you're trying to, to accomplish. So for me, I created title one description. So that later on, actually, when we talk to ChatGPT, we'll give it a prompt. By the way, this prompt will be shared in my community and also the free community. So you can join, join the free community. And if you're interested in the paid community, you can also. So, yeah, so basically the template and this is the result. And you have also to connect your convo with ChatGPT. That's very important. I've created a video about that. You can actually find it in my YouTube channel. I will show you guys. So this is the video that you will actually uh, I'm showing how to connect to, to Canva. Great. So when you are connecting to Canva, what we will do is uh, how I do it myself. Okay. How I do it myself. I am using actually uh, my own tools, which I have in my Optimizer. So you, if you are a part of the community, there is the paid community. You can also have access to the tools. I'm adding always the tools that I have created and the automation I've created. So you can use them guys. So yeah. So you actually, for my side, uh, I will show you directly how I have done it with my prompt. So I will show you my prompt. Basically the prompt, what, what it says. So the prompt, um, so the prompt, it says, uh, I need you to update my Canva design. So I'm giving the template ID and this actually works with MCP. So, uh, it's actually the chat GPT when you connect it to Canva, it will do all the actions for you. So you don't have to do it yourself. You just copy actually this and it will do it for you. So basically I have done it before, but I will show you guys how I do it. So I just take, um, this prompt and I go to comment. Okay. And this commit is a browser that has been created by perplexity. And you can see that there is an assistant here that you can actually ask it to do things for you and in the browser. This is crazy. So you can actually use your own chat GPT with the assistant of, um, of chat of uh, perplexity. So let's start, let's create a new chat and what I will do, I will create also a new assistant. And what I'm telling actually the assistant it's, it's on the top, copy and paste this prompt to chat GPT, ask anything. So ask anything, I mean this and enter. When ChatGPT asks you to allow for usage of Canva tools, allow them. When it is finished, and if ChatGPT asks, Chat asks to commit, answer yes, commit. So I'll be explaining why I'm saying that. So I will just enter, and what it does actually. So it will actually analyze what I have said to the to to the assistant, and it will can take control of my browser. So I can, for example, go have a drink, uh, or I don't know, have a Kit Kat. I'm just kidding, guys. But you see what I mean. Um, so this is actually what I'm saying. So to allow for usage of Canva and here I'm giving it, uh, I'm giving actually um, the, the prompt that is to be passed to, to my chat GPT that is connected to Canva. So it will do actually the actions on our behalf in into Canva. But so let me show you, let's not run it. I will show you what I had before. So just to let you know, it takes some time. It takes like uh, five minutes or something like that. But uh, that's something that we would like also to automate. So we don't have actually to copy this prompt and put it here, but maybe that's in the, in the future. Okay. So that's what it does. So there is a tool calling of the MCP and you have always, you will have always to accept. And that's what the assistant do. So you don't have to do anything. You just, as I said, go for a drink and it will, it will do all, all the steps for you guys. So even this message was done by the assistant, by commit assistant. So uh, you didn't have to do anything. You just come back and you just open up. Um, your Canva design and it will be actually updated. So, so this is it. I will show you also how I do it on my, uh, on my tool. So my tool actually allows me to create the prompt. Okay. So I have my prompt here and what I do in NHN. So as always AI systems that I'm using, um, because they save me a lot of time for my business. And that's the goal of the community is to save time for your business and grow your business, whatever you're, you're doing. Okay. So great. So let me show you. I just actually duplicate the Canva template. So I'm actually creating that template and I'm duplicating the templates. So how it works in AI systems, a AI system, every step corresponds to a flow. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four flows. 
and as you can see when i actually configure my flows i have the the four flows that are listed okay so i'm not going to click on it because there is a, my 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 webhooks inside but let me show you uh maybe in another setting uh, okay in another tool for example in my youtube shorts tool we can see that we can click on the webhook so we can connect our webhook so as you can see here guys uh, this is the webhooks so you just have to click here and pass your webhook of, of your flow and it will take into place okay so let's go back uh, to to my tool which is the linkedin carousel so this is what great about tools you have tools for youtube shorts you have also tools for lead generation and you have tools for linkedin carousels and i'll be also kind of uh, automating all of this so you can actually do it on your behalf at the night time and you can wake up and see them so stay stay tuned because that's coming in later videos so great so i just duplicate the canva and extract the content from the from from the the url so what i'm doing so i will duplicate the the my template in here i can extract the content from the url so what it does so in the step one actually what i'm doing is i'm giving it um, my article okay so i'm giving it a url which is a url article and i'm actually extracting the content and duplicating the canva okay so here we are extracting and we are waiting for the flow to finish uh in n n so we can actually check it it's running and as you can see here that's my flow before uh, let me check if we have any successful flow if it would like to show us what's inside okay so this is the duplicate okay so here i'm duplicating um the design and i'm using actually um the canva api uh so you just have to connect with the canva api i'm actually I'm gonna detail this in the community so you can do it also by yourself so great here you have your youtube it takes some time uh, but that's why actually these tools that are mainly used for testing so in the beginning uh, when you're actually using this kind of uh, automations for your business you have to test uh, test them and kind of have a grasp on what is going on uh, behind so you can actually uh, get the result that you're trying to have so that's why i'm using these tools until i get the results that i want to have and then i will automate fully for example my ai system with n8n and not having to go this, through these tools these tools also actually allow me to see what's going on so if i'm actually um thinking about a subject and i want to have control about that subject it allows me also to do it on the spot so here for example i have my images that are uh, corresponding to commit and i can actually define which page i would like to to, to put and my carousel for example i can use page two <laughs> this is a funny one so as, as you can see here i have a brave search that what allows me actually to um to to search for these images and i'm giving the response with those images great so here i get the page two and then i can go to step two and here i have the option to generate an image if i would like uh generated by ai and here i have a prompt that was given to me by step one okay which is this step this step so for example, I can generate it and let's let's do it together. So digital illustration, split screens, that talks about commit assistant browser. Yeah, so I'm generating that image. It will take some time. It's generated as you can see, and you can choose which space you want to put it in. And yeah, of course, if you like it, and if you don't like it, you can actually just erase it. As you can see, it actually um, corresponds. It has like an abyss between uh, an AI browser and a browser that is a normal one. So let's continue. And here you have your prompt. Okay. So you just copy your prompt as we have said. And you come here to commit and you pass the prompt. And commit will do everything for you. So great. So the goal actually in the next steps is to be able to kind of automate this last step. But already it's a very good thing if you're creating uh, carousels in a daily kind of basis. You can create an AI agent that can help you uh, create this kind of uh, this kind of carousels. So everything is possible. And uh yeah, so don't hesitate. If you like the video, I'll be sharing actually uh, this system uh, with my community. I've also actually launched a masterclass where I talk about uh, how you can create your own AI system by yourself. So we're going from research, uh, researching the solution, uh, planning, preparing to vibe code. So you have also introduction to vibe coding. Okay. Great, guys. I hope you like the video and you find it pretty insightful. And it will help you to think about how you can create those, those kind of system yourself. And yeah, don't hesitate to join also the, the free community. I'll be sharing the prompt there. See you in the next one and have a good night.